Hi, I'm Dave Bergman, Vice President of International Relations for IPC, and I have this week's Technical Question of the Week. This week's question comes from one of our members in Malaysia, specifically relating to moisture-sensitive devices and the handling of these, and it relates to the IPC JETIC specification J standard 033. Uh, it's related to moisture sensitive devices and the question is uh, figure 3-1 in the O33 standard. According to this figure the typical dry pack configuration is to have the uh, humidity uh, um, indicator card and the desiccant pouches placed side by side. And the concern from this member was uh, that it doesn't say don't have the uh, card in contact with the desiccant and because theoretically if they're in contact uh, that could give a misleading uh, result or misreading um, uh, indication. And so uh, the uh, member asked whether we could provide clarification. Well it's not always easy to answer uh, questions just off the, uh, off the top of your head. You need to do a little bit of research. So we checked with the chairman and said hey what's the situation here? And the chairman said indeed this was a legitimate question and a weakness pointed out in the standard that it wasn't clear. And after some research, uh, the, uh, the chairman implied that uh, indication, uh, the general answer is that it's being covered in work being uh, considered by the committee for the next revision. And they're actively changing this, where they have provided an indication that in the future revision that is being worked on right now, it indicates in the, the um, uh, HIC, they have an indication of the HIC or the humidity indication card. The HIC card shall not be placed under or in contact with the desiccant pouch. So uh, I would uh, recommend that you continue to send questions because this is how the standards get clarified and updated. So uh, while we didn't have an immediate answer in the standard, uh, the fact that the question was asked uh, made an impact on the future standard and uh, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll solve the members' problems. That's this week's technical question of the week. If you have a question you'd like us to consider, please send it to answers at ipc.org.